Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Grill Sergeant here. Now there are 365 days in a year and today is my favorite one. Happy birthday, America. Now when it comes to 4th of July grilling, what comes to my mind is good old charcoal grilled hot dogs. But today we're gonna put a classic spin on it. But before we get started, let me fire up the grill. Today I'm gonna be using Texas Original Charcoal and I'm gonna be filling half a chimney with oak lump briquettes. So what we got here is a beef hot dog and I can't wait to dig in, but I was at my local barbecue supply store today and I saw something called the slot dog. There's these little metal cutting things in here and it puts these really cool markings on the hot dog. So when you grill it up, it looks pretty cool. That will give us an opportunity to season the hot dog and for the seasoning to get in a little bit. So that being said, let's prep these hot dogs right now. All right, we have our hot dogs here. And what it's saying to do, is I'm gonna push down in a rocking motion. We're just gonna peel it off. Very cool. You can see all those markings in there. All right, let me do these two and then we'll tune back in when we go to season them up. All right, to make 4th of July even more epic, our good friend Uncle Steve just sent us his new All-American SPG. We're gonna use this to season up these dogs. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll it around just like so. Season up these dogs. So now the what's cool about this is that seasoning can then get inside those cracks and crevices. And so it can take the awesome flavor of a hot dog and then kick it up even more. All right, I think it's time to dump these coals. I'm gonna prep the inside. I'm gonna put a charcoal holder to one side. Now, if you don't have that, it's fine. You can actually just bank your coals to one side. Whoop. Now let's get our grate into place. Now we're gonna let the grill heat up for a few minutes. All right. All right, let's get these dogs. Now these are gonna be apart from the coals just because we want to get some smoke on these. And then I'm gonna lift this side up and put oak chips. And that is actually going to help give some nice oaky smoke. All right, we'll let these get some smoke on them for eh, probably about five or 10 minutes. And now we wait in this Texas heat. But seriously, thank you, Uncle Steve, for sending out the All-American SPG. And I do want to say thank you to Judge Wet Barbecue for sending me an awesome tumbler. This thing is awesome. Let me know in the comments section, what is your beverage of choice when you're chilling and grilling? All right, let's go check on these hot dogs. Ooh, getting some good color on those. Gonna warm up some buns right now, and then we'll get these on the hot side in probably about two or three minutes. <laughs> All right, let's get these dogs on the fire. And not long too. These are gonna cook really quick. Yep. Not gonna lie, these look freaking cool. All right, it's time to prep these hot dogs. I like keeping it simple with mayo, ketchup, mustard, but hey, you do you, you doll them up how you want, but now let's make them. Ooh, they are nice and steamy right now. We're gonna start off with Duke's mayo. Beautiful. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna put one in, just like so. I'm gonna take some ketchup like so. Let's get some mustard in here. Whoop. Now let's do a taste test. Mm. Man, we just took an All-American Classic and brought it up to the next level. This hot dog is amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Short little video, fun. 
Happy 4th of July. Thank you, Uncle Steve, for the rub. Very, very cool. Have a fun, awesome, and safe 4th of July, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Grill Sergeant out.